We're entering the second month of a reenacted budget. Uh, what's the impact of that on uh, an agency that relies so much on, on funding? Well, uh, siyempre kung wala pa pong budget, we can expect that uh, apektado po yung disbursements ng DPWH, mm -hmm. especially for the first quarter because when they pass it, uh, we will only be able to uh, obligate uh, once the budget is passed. And mm -hmm. even then, uh, it, even after you pass it, it still has to go through a, a process so hindi naman kaagad-agad. So, may effect po sa first quarter sa in, in terms of uh, sa infrastructure spending. And sir, in tangible terms, what are we, what, what are we looking at? Uh, what, what sort of delays or what magnitude of delays are we looking well, at? Well, yung, yung ongoing projects naman namin are still ongoing, but uh, yung mga naka-identify naka sa 20... 19 yeah. budget. We can expect that hindi pa namin pwedeng pa-implement or very limited yung implementation namin. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, uh, until the budget comes out, we, we, we have to be conservative in our spending. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, no new projects? Uh, at this point, uh, we cannot... Uh, we, we are allowed to disperse a portion, but we do not... We have to be conservative kasi hindi pa namin alam yung final uh, output ng Congress or yung final identification. So, of course, definitely yung mga... What we call yung mga MOOE, yung mga sweldo, ganun, oh, yeah, tuloy, tuloy naman po. Ay, mer meron din pong mga existing projects that uh, will continue to be uh, funded. But yung mga bago na naka-identify po sa 2019, uh, makakaroon po ng delay. For example, sir, for example, yung, yung uh, mga build-build-build projects, uh, meron bang uh, na-apektuhan nito? Well, I, and there's some that we will, but of course we have to adjust to the timeline of Congress. Pero yung mga, marami din kami mga big ticket projects that are ongoing as we speak. So tuloy-tuloy naman po. In fact, uh, over this first quarter, we expect to, uh, major openings uh, first quarter ng 2019. Like, like for example, kanina you inaugurated a uh, uh, ramp. Yes, yes, in yes. Bulacan. So that yeah. one, it will not stop. It will continue. Well, uh, yes. Uh, we expect it to be, uh, we expect uh, our timeline to be uh, the same. And, uh, and, and very soon, we'll be opening another major project sa Metro Manila, uh, yung Harbor Link. Mm -hmm. uh, yun, uh, malaking bagay po dahil uh, uh, yung travel time from Manila going to NLEX will be reduced to from, siguro, from one hour, magiging 10 minutes na It lang. will be opened na. Yes, by this uh, by February. Pero appropriated na kasi yun, so that's not Well, a it's a, it's anymore. also among the beep is a build build build. Meron din kami mga PPP projects. Isa mm -hmm. po ito sa mga PPP projects. So, tuloy-tuloy naman. So, uh, and we also have some foreign funded projects that are also ongoing that uh, will continue yung mga bridges across Pasig. Tuloy-tuloy naman po. So, in terms of build build build, it is this the president's most ambitious project. Yes. Masisira ba timeline within the year because of this reenactment budget? Makakaroon ng effect. Uh, there will be an effect. Pero oh, we will pipilitin pa rin namin na hindi naman uh, masidetrack masyado ang programa ni Presidente. Kaya siyang ihabol? Kaya naman ihabol. Um, of course, ideally, the sooner the better kasi yeah. ngayon naman po ang dry season. Mm -hmm. So, mas mabilis. In general, mas, madali, mas mabilis po ang trabaho sa dry season. So, uh, we're hoping that uh, very soon this impasse will be solved that uh, we can... Uh, start working on the 2019 projects. Yung, yung planning new for this year, it all, already took into consideration the election ban? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Kasama din po. Uh, of course, we're also looking for, uh, we are working to get an exemption also for uh, disbursement for certain projects. So, yung build, build, build. Opo, kasama din po sa planning namin. So, so pending yung application yun? Well, uh, it's, it's pending, but uh, we don't see any problems. Uh, hmm. Traditionally, uh, the COMELEC doesn't uh, allow us uh, leeway when it comes to uh, infrastructure. Mm. So let's break down the projects uh, further. Because uh, a while ago you mentioned that you have uh, you expect major projects to be open in the first quarter. I, yes. I suppose Harbor Link is already one yes, of them. Yes. Uh, ano pa yung iba? Well, uh, just this is uh, well. Just recently we opened the uh, Laguna Lake Highway. Yung what we, what many know as C six. Uh, yes, formally. Ng, uh, Laguna. Yes, yeah. Very yes, nice. Yes. Yung yeah. dating two lanes, ginawa mm. namin four lanes na may mm. independent bike lane. Uh, yun po. At uh, nasimulan na rin po yung, mga, yung uh, Metro Manila Logistics Program, which is yung bridges across, uh, uh, the, uh, the 12 bridges across Pasig River. Uh, pati po yung mga, magsisimula na po yung TR4 <coughs> sa papuntang Quezon. Uh, which, which part, which part yan? From uh, Startol going to mm. Lucena. Wow. So, okay. yun, magsisimula na po dahil medyo mahaba na po yung nakuha naming right of way. E, and uh, also the Skyway. We can expect that by this year, we're targeting to finish the main line of the Skyway by this year. Mm. So, 
Uh, marami pa pong, marami naman pong projects na, ano, that will be online. Uh, not just in Metro Manila, pati sa, uh, we, we're working on some by, bypasses across the country. And uh, just recently, we opened by, uh, Lawag Bypass, uh, Kandon City Bypass. So, marami po. Actually, nationwide naman po yung build-build-build. Kaya we can kaya expect po natin na marami pa rin mga, mga mag-ground mag break at um, uh, mag-online mag in the next few kung, kung months. Kung sakasakali, which projects will be most impacted by this, this squabble over the budget? Well, definitely there's a lot of, con there's some continuation of 2018 projects and mm -hmm. uh, there's some budget for the, some new projects that are, are identified in 2019. Uh, there, there's uh, quite a number because the, the expected budget was about 550 billion. Mm -hmm. So that's, Napakalaki po. Yung affected disbursements, an ano anong project yon? Yung yung affected na projects. Well, uh, yung, yung most most because na na. Uh, most because a lot there's a lot of continuation. So mm. yung mga bypasses na hindi pa natatapos, uh, mm. it will be affected by this uh, delays. So you mentioned bridges uh, across the Pasig. And yes. I, I suppose uh, Pantaleon is one of them already. Um, I understand you're also going to rebuild or at least uh, rehabilitate a portion of Guadalupe Bridge. Yes, uh, yes. Towards uh, the end of the year will be... Uh, uh, end of the year pa? Yes, towards the end of the year we will be rehabilitating. Kailangan na po kasi medyo luma na po yung structure. Oh. At, uh, and uh, kasama po yan sa preparation natin for... Uh, Sana hindi mangyari, but uh, in case for any seismic event, major seismic event. What do you have in mind? Because that's that's a major that, that's a major uh, traffic portion. No, <laughs> it's a major funnel of uh, of EDSA. Oh, of I mean, course, yeah. of course. Parang uh, diyan talaga na iipit oh, lahat. Of course. Eh. Hindi naman namin isasara <laughs> yung Guadalupe. Ang gagawin nila na gagawa muna kami ng uh, bypass sa gilid. Ah, so you'll build the uh, yes. uh, temporary bridge. Temporary lang. So habang ginagawa yung main bridge, uh, makakadaan naman yung mga kotse. And... Uh, at the same time, we like I said, like uh, some of these harbor link will also serve to, uh, and even the the skyway. We're by the maybe by the third quarter, or second or third quarter, we'll be opening Kirino uh, down ramp. We may extend the skyway. So, uh, marami din mga projects na makakatulong para mabawasan ng traffic sa EDSA, mm -hmm. and uh, this will help uh, once yes, we decide sir. to rehabilitate Guadalupe.